you may have been hearing a lot about the Zika virus in the news lately. So what exactly is Zika virus? The Zika virus is an infection that is spread primarily through mosquitoes, and it's actually very similar to yellow fever and the West Nile virus. The Zika virus isn't exactly new as it was discovered in the forests of Uganda in 1947. And while the virus is relatively common in Africa and Asia, it became headline news when it started spreading in the Western Hemisphere last May. As of February 10th this year, there have been 17 US states that have reported Zika virus. However, all of the cases were travel associated, meaning someone got Zika virus outside of the United States and then showed symptoms once they arrived back on US soil. So are you at risk for getting sick from Zika virus? Well, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in five people will become sick after being infected with the virus. However, most people have few to no symptoms at all. For those who do become sick, they may experience fever, rash, joint pain, and red eyes. The symptoms for adults are mild and usually only last up to a few days, with very rare cases of deaths and hospitalizations. However, the Zika virus affects babies very differently. With babies still in the womb and newborns, the Zika virus can cause serious birth defects. And while this potentially very serious virus is on the rise, there's currently no vaccine or medications to prevent the Zika virus. As Zika is found in a patient, the doctor may prescribe acetaminophen to help with the fever and pain. Rest and plenty of fluids to help naturally fight the infection is also recommended. So what can you do to prevent Zika infection? Since the greatest risk of Zika virus infection is from exposure to mosquitoes in affected areas, avoiding traveling to these countries would have the highest impact. But if travel can't be avoided to these parts of the world, the next best option would be using effective insect repellents, sleeping in enclosed and netted spaces, and wearing long clothing when outside. We've also included links to more extensive protective measures in the description below. Until next time, I'm Nick Kuas with Fab Lab News. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this episode, check out more videos here and subscribe for new videos every week.